Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video of TechWafer. Hopefully you're having a great day. Adil here, your host. And in this video, I'm about to show you what has changed in the One UI 6 in terms of camera. And I'm pretty sure that you'll love the enhancement that Samsung has provided in the latest user interface. So without further ado, let's just jump onto it. Let's kick things off with a game changer. Automatic document scanning. It's a new feature found in the setting menu at the very top in the past, you'd need to tap on the shutter button even if this feature was unable to capture a document. But now, we've got the fantastic auto scan option. And with this feature enabled, watch what happens when you present a document in front of it. It automatically recognizes and captures it, and you can even extract the text from the document, which is the best part. You do not need to copy and paste anything with the OCR softwares it is now built in. And this is all part of the new AI feature in the document scanning area. The second improved area is advanced intelligent options and it is a fresh addition into the camera options. When you tap on the settings, you will discover advanced intelligence option. It empowers you to choose between three different quality of optimizations, maximum, medium, and minimum. Maximum gives you the top-notch photo quality at the expense of a slightly reduced shutter speed, while medium setting strikes a balance between quality and the fast capture, However, the Minium prioritizes rapid photo capture perfect for fast moving objects and you can just hold the shutter and it will keep capturing unlimited photos. When you press the shutter button, it will continue to capture photos until you leave that button. The next impressive feature is AI image clipping which lets you clip an object from a picture. You can instantly save this as a sticker that can later on be added to other photos and videos whenever you want. A menu will pop up when you tap and hold on the object giving you the option to copy or share the cutout and even save it as a sticker or an image. If you save it as a sticker, you can easily pull it up and add it to other content whenever you are using the editor on your phone and you can even share it with your friends using social media apps. The next thing is scene optimizer and megapixels. You may have noticed the scene optimizer setting have a new location. It is now under advanced intelligence options. You can easily toggle it on or off based on your needs. Additionally, the new layout for switching between different megapixels and aspect ratios is much more user-friendly now. It is a standalone option and the aspect ratio are neatly separated, making it perfect to choose whatever suits your desires. The next feature is for the video enthusiasts out there and these changes reflect in the video settings. You can now conveniently select the resolution and frames per second using a control panel, making it a lot more easier and user-friendly, especially if you are a frequent camera user like me. Another exciting addition is the camera widget and you can simply long press your screen and navigate the widgets and add the camera widgets. This widget lets you choose your preferred setting mode and even designate where your photos and video will be saved. What's more, you can create multiple widgets with different settings for various scenarios and it can come really handy for a person like me who prefers to shot different types of videos on a single device but always had to change settings and I'm pretty sure that I'll be using it a lot. The watermark feature has also received a significant upgrade. You can now easily reposition the watermark to appear at the top or bottom of your photos. This offers greater flexibility depending on your phone's orientation. And now let's talk about the advanced video options and what has changed there. In this particular area, the changes are in high efficiency video format settings. You can easily pick the quality that suits your requirement. Furthermore, high bitrate videos and HDR10 plus video options are easily accessible than ever. And last but not the least is switching between the cameras and Samsung has really worked on it. And that's a wrap of our video of the One UI's camera improvement. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you really did, a like on the video and share will be appreciated because it will keep me motivated to create more content like this. And with that being said, I will catch you in the next one. Till then, peace out. And hey, while you're going, don't forget to subscribe. See ya.